Welcome to our tech tutorial. Today, we're tackling a question that many data enthusiasts encounter when visualizing their data. Our viewer is looking to set both axes to a logarithmic scale and a bar plot using matplotlib. Let's dive into the details of this challenge. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll go through your question, go through the answers for it, and hopefully that brings you to your solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy to get to that solution just like me. And let's get started. To set both axes to a logarithmic scale in a bar plot using matplotlib, we need to start by importing the necessary libraries. Next, Let's create some sample data for our bar plot. We'll use NumPy to generate our X and Y values. Now we can create the bar plot. However, to set both axes to logarithmic scale, we will use the PLT bar function followed by plt.xscale and y scale. Finally, Let's add labels and a title to our plot and then display it. This will help us understand the data better. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To create a bar plot with logarithmic scales on both axes while maintaining equal width bars, you can set the width of the bars based on your x values. Use a constant multiplier for the width like this. plt.bar x width equals c to np.array at colors b log looks true. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. This user faced a challenge with setting the y-axis to a logarithmic scale in a bar plot. They initially tried using log scale but found the numbers hard to read. Instead, they opted for a simpler solution by adjusting the y-axis limits with a small offset. They are still looking for a better method that doesn't require adding an offset to the y-axis limits. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To set both axes logarithmic in a bar plot using matplotlib, you can create a line collection instead of using the traditional bar function. This method simplifies the process of adjusting widths for a log scale. Here's a code snippet to illustrate the process. First, generate random data and create a histogram. Then, create lines for each bin and add them to the plot. One drawback is that the bars will be centered. You can adjust the X values to offset them by half the line width for better alignment. And that's it. I hope that helped find the resolution that you're looking for. If it did, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.